Hey guys, I'm Ryan, and on this episode of Baking with Ryan, I'm going to show you how to decorate four different types of Halloween cupcakes. All of these decorations are really easy to do, and they taste delicious too. The first one is a Frankenstein cupcake. I also made a mummy cupcake, a graveyard cupcake, and a candy corn ghost cupcake. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. To make the Frankenstein cupcakes, the ingredients you'll need are three vanilla cupcakes, Reese's peanut butter cups, green buttercream in a piping bag fitted with a round tip. To dye this buttercream, I used Chef Master green food coloring. You'll also need white candy melts, brown M&Ms, chocolate chips, chocolate sprinkles, and something to spread out the frosting. Begin by melting some white candy melts in a small bowl. After one minute in the microwave, stir the candy melts until they're smooth. Once it's melted and there's no chunks left, pour the candy melts into a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. Now begin piping small dots the size of eyes on a non-stick surface. You could pipe it on parchment paper or a silicone mat like I did. In total, you'll need six dots. Quickly, before the dots dry, place the chocolate M&M in the center of each one. We're gonna use these as Frankenstein's eyes. The next step is to frost the cupcakes with green buttercream. Begin by piping a ring of buttercream around the perimeter of the cupcake, then fill in the center. After that, pipe another ring of green buttercream that's slightly smaller than the first. Now, smooth out the frosting with a tool of your choice. I'm using an offset spatula, but you could even use a butter knife. Once the frosting is all smooth, place a peanut butter cup on top. Be sure to press it down. It's time to place on the face. Start by putting two eyes under the peanut butter cup. Then place on two chocolate chips facing outwards to represent the bolts on Frankenstein's head. After the chocolate chips, place one chocolate sprinkle under the eyes to represent the mouth. The final step is placing on the eyebrows, which are also chocolate chips. Be sure not to smush the frosting. And there you go, the Frankenstein cupcakes are done. Now let's make the candy corn ghost cupcakes. To make the candy corn ghost cupcakes, the ingredients you'll need are three vanilla cupcakes, chocolate chips, and three different colors of buttercream. All three of these buttercreams are in piping bags fitted with a Wilton 1M star tip. Begin by covering the bottom of the cupcake in orange buttercream. Next, pipe a layer of yellow buttercream on top of the orange. Finish off the piping by covering the top in white buttercream. Be sure to make this layer a little taller. Now place two chocolate chips with the bottom side facing out in the white layer of buttercream. These are the eyes of the ghost. For each of the cupcakes, I ended up adding a little more frosting pointing up. And just like that, the candy corn ghost cupcakes are complete. These are the easiest ones. To make the graveyard cupcakes, the ingredients you'll need are three vanilla cupcakes, brown frosting, chocolate or with brown food coloring, Oreo crumbs, something to smooth out the frosting with, and some edible hands. I got mine from Wilton. Begin by adding on a small amount of brown frosting and spread it out to cover the entire cupcake. Next, dip the frosted cupcake into the Oreo crumbs. The Oreo crumbs are going to be the dirt for the graveyard. All that's left now is to place the hand into the cupcake. And that's how easy it is to make the graveyard cupcakes. Now let's make the final cupcake, the mummy cupcake. The ingredients you'll need to make the mummy cupcakes are vanilla cupcakes, black frosting, white frosting in a piping bag fitted with a petal tip, something to smooth out the frosting with, and some edible eyes. I got these from Wilton. 
Begin by frosting the cupcake with some black frosting. Be sure to cover the entire cupcake in frosting. The next step is to place on two eyes. If you wanted, you could use the same eyes that we made for the Frankenstein cupcakes. After this, all you have to do is cover all of the black frosting in stripes of white frosting. Just be sure not to cover the black frosting in between the eyes. And just like that, the Mummy Cupcake is complete. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what cake you want me to make next.